Okay, still in chapter three. Now we're going to talk about the concepts change in quantity demanded and demand, and then change in quantity supplied and change in supply. Economics uses these words kind of precisely, and it's easy to get tripped up in exams or when reading your textbook or other pieces about what this distinction actually means. A change in quantity demanded is a movement along a single demand curve. As you move from, say, that black dot in the middle up to the red dot, that's called a decrease in quantity demanded. As you move from the black dot down along the demand curve to the blue one, that's called an increase in quantity demanded. One way a lot of people find it easiest to remember is that that decrease is always associated with a decrease in the amount that people want to buy. It's associated with an increase in price as well. An increase in quantity demanded is going to be associated with an increase in the amount that people want to buy. So going from the black dot to the red is a decrease. Going from the black dot to the blue is an increase. Now when we talk about a change in demand, we're talking about something a little different. That's a shift in the entire curve. As we move from the black demand curve here in the center to the blue one, that's called an increase in demand. Not an increase in quantity demanded, but an increase in demand. That means the entire curve shifts to the right. A decrease in demand is a move from the black demand curve to the red one. That's a shift of the whole demand curve to the left. What's going on here is that every price along here every single price you can consider, there's a different amount that people want to buy, okay? In moving from the black to the blue curve, there's an increase in the amount at every single price that people are interested in buying, okay? Now let's talk a little bit about the equivalent kinds of concept for supply. Just like with the demand curve, an increase in the quantity supplied is a movement along the supply curve, going from the black dot to the blue one. That's associated with an increase in the amount that suppliers want to sell. A decrease in the quantity supplied is a movement from the black dot to the red one. That's associated with a decrease in the amount that suppliers want to sell. A movement again along the supply curve. And just like we talked about a few seconds ago, a change in supply is associated with a movement of the entire curve. Again, from the black to the blue curve, a rightward shift we call that an increase in supply. From the black supply curve to the red, a leftward shift, we call that a decrease in supply. And in the same way that we just spoke about with the demand curve, what that means is that at every single price, there's a change in the amount that the supplier wants to sell. Okay? So a decrease or an increase in quantity supplied means a movement along the curve. A change in supply, a decrease or an increase in supply, leaving out that word quantity, is a shift of the whole curve. Similarly, with the demand curve, one more time, a decrease or increase in the quantity demanded is a movement along the curve. A decrease or increase in demand, a change in demand, is a shift of the entire curve.